We'll see, those old aluminum ones are cool. Haven't sold one in a while since the dimensional shipping went up, but we'll give it a shot with FedEx this summer, see what happens. As author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard sales, thrift stores, antique malls, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our three antique booths. All right, this is a little sale I come to a couple times a year, but it always starts on a Friday. And I have to teach school. So I uh, usually get here on a Saturday and pick over what's left. And sometimes we find some stuff. Those lawn chairs might be something decent to flip, but they're not too old, I don't think. That one might just, I might have to buy that. Three bucks. Have to go FedEx these days. Those long ones that fold out are pretty cool. I think I'm going to buy it. Yeah, it's in good shape. We'll see, those old aluminum ones are cool. Haven't sold one in a while since the dimensional shipping went up, but we'll give it a shot with FedEx this summer, see what happens. This is where I bought those military magazines that we made hundreds of dollars on. Good morning. I brought a chair in. I'm gonna buy this thing. Where do you want me to put it? Uh, Let me, can I just put it out? Just put it right, put it right there. there? Yeah, okay. Thank you. Like I said, it's usually picked over. But oh, look at that thing. Good night, all my. Sell the antique booth. I have cleaned these magazines up, or uh, I've cleaned these records out before. Oh, don't really want to look through them. Over from what I bought. Oh, yeah. Not in great shape, but these will sell in the booth. 14 tapes and the box. Two dollars. Yeah, not in great shape. We'll give it a go. Even if I put a dollar on it in the booth and then sell the case for a couple bucks. That's one of my dad's favorites. Pink Floyd, rough shape. That would have been a good one though. Bee Gees. Look at this box here. Sold a ton of those.
Oh, check these out. Look at that. I'll have to look some of these up. Oh, that's cool. Should be a good one. Probably 20 bucks. Oh, not too bad, huh? One sold, three listed. I'll pick it up for 50 cents. What the heck? I'm going to keep adding to my pile if that's okay. Sure. All right. Thank you. Hmm. A chicker tuck. What is it? Wooden. Wooden. Wooden die. Three, five. That is a nice one. Hell yeah. Twenty five dollar lens, but they want fifteen. I don't know. I'd buy it for five, but. Sell these in the booth. Five dollars for everything in there. I don't see too much else. Not too much else, but that's all right. Found some good stuff. <laughs> Those are pretty nice. Huh. Miss Mary Jo Darby. American Embassy Moscow. Now that is pretty cool. Hello. Oh, you got yeah, I got that right there too. Okay. And I don't know. Chris, let's see. What it said, I thought I saw 50 cents for books, but yeah, okay. Nice. Now, is this 50 cents? No, that's okay. Four. Okay, we'll do that. Let's see, two, three, four, five, five. and let's put that in there, sure. And, and that chair right there, so it looks like I owe you eight dollars. Okay. There you go. All right, good to see you again. Do you have a plan? I'd like to have some of you. Here you go. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. You need any help carrying that? No, ma'am. I appreciate it. Right. I'll probably take the box and then come back for the chair, though. Okay. That's fine, <laughs> okay. That's fine sir. Okay. You have a nice day. I know some of you are probably like why in the world is he picking that thing up so you can flip these locally i could even flip it in a booth i suppose but i'm not going to do that i'm gonna sell this one on ebay you'd think that they're you know pretty difficult to ship and you just got to find the right box they're really really light these things don't weigh but maybe three pounds i mean they don't weigh much of anything and they sell so you look these up look up uh you know vintage lawn chair a lounge chase lounge chair something like that and you will see that these will go anywhere between forty dollars plus shipping to like eighty dollars plus shipping so i'll probably list it between forty and sixty and probably take forty on it or something like that so we'll see i like selling stuff like this the number seven box for the post office when you order those keep the box that the number seven box comes in and you can Frankenbox those and, and package this thing in it. Those are pretty sturdy boxes, and you don't even have to put much padding or anything in it. It's not as tough as you might think.
All right, so I picked these up for 50 cents a piece. I'll probably end up selling them in a lot. I have to check to see if they're first editions and all that stuff. This one can't be, I don't think. This one might be, though. And I'll have to check to see the value of them. But I'll probably put them in a lot together. If not, you know, I'll put them in the booth for three or four bucks a piece. I think they would sell. Or I might put them in a lot together in the booth for 10 bucks. Who the heck knows? I don't know. But I paid 50 cents, so you can't go wrong with that. 50 cents for this one. It's at least a $15 book. I bought one of these. I probably shouldn't have. Uh, I think she gave it to me for free. I can't even remember. I have to look back in there. Maybe a quarter. At any rate, these, this one will probably go for like eight or nine bucks. No big deal. Free shipping. That one is really good. This one should go, this one might go for 25 bucks. Paperback too. So that's really cool. And I really like this because I'm going to put this in the booth. I have a vintage electronics section and media and these are not in great shape i haven't looked any of them up so because of the shape they're not going to sell really good but there might be a few that sell on ebay even in the condition if it's poor like here i mean this is pink floyd but it is in bad condition so i have to test it out anyways that was in good condition i bet that would sell i have to look it up statley brothers is local you know i'm only going to put a dollar or two on most of these Paul McCartney and Wings. So, nothing amazing. Gary Puckett and Union Gap. But for two bucks for the whole thing, there's got to be one in here I can sell on eBay and make my money and make a little bit more. Sell the rest for a buck or two. And I like the case. I'll put like five bucks on the case. So we'll see.